Hello guys, it is Modest Major here bringing you some commentary over a 28 and 1 Infinity Capture the Flag gameplay. The score is pretty fast paced um, and I managed to get an overkill in it at one point which is pretty cool. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is continued opinions from, well extended opinions from last video of the idea of the weapon balancing stream. And more specifically to do with the assault rifle getting a buff. Um, now, last week I kind of touched on why I thought the, you know, my only problem with this new buff could be that assault rifles were going to get a bit more increased damage, and how this could affect the state of the game, and that I wasn't necessarily going to be the happiest bunny in the the bunny asylum. What the? I don't even know what that means. Okay, um, I wasn't going to necessarily be the happiest guy when it came about, and. Um, I, I still stand by my opinions, even though Epos Vox and Crazy Ass Dude made very good, um, you know, arguments as to why they believed it would be. Epos Vox basically stated that in the Halo Free space, um, you know, the assault rifle was just as powerful as it will be with this buff, and it didn't necessarily make a difference. Yeah, sure, the assault rifle could get an edge over the battle rifle at times, um, but it didn't necessarily make uh, it made it more fun for the newer players without ruining the competitive and fun nature of the Halo 3 game in general. Which I thought was a pretty convincing argument and it definitely made me reconsider my opinions and want to argue them more effectively because quite frankly I don't think I did the best job within my video of um, you know putting down, stating exactly what, what I felt and why I felt it exactly. Because um, quite frankly, at the time, I didn't really know. I mean, Epos Vox made me reconsider my opinions, and Crazy Ass Dude made me reconsider my opinions, so I thought I could provide a better argument. But at the time of making that video, all I kind of had at that time was just warning signs in my head, just saying, oh, that doesn't sound like a good idea, but it wasn't necessarily fully thought-out opinions, fully fleshed opinions. So I want to go into... I, I, I think I've kind of done a better job at um, my reasoning for doing so. Well, I hope so, anyway. Uh, you guys can be the judge of that. Um... Against Halo 3, why I think this could be a bad thing, there are three primary reasons. And the first of which, and possibly the most uh, vital, important reason, significant reason, is um, the idea that there are more weapon rolls in this game. This is not just Battle Rifle, Assault Rifle anymore. This is Battle Rifle, Light Rifle, DMR. How is it fair that Light Rifle is being given its own role at long range, DMR is being given its own role at mid range, and Battle Rifle is being its own, given its own role at close range, except there's going to be a huge counter to it? I don't think that's very fair. I don't think that's very fair at all. Um, I understand that they've had to do that in order to... Uh, make the DMR not feel useless on a close quarters uh, um, map, but I think in the Halo 4 space it could backfire on them. I understand their reasoning for doing so, but in Halo 4 it could just be an assault rifle fest at the end of the day. It really could, and the battle rifle could see its place being you know, jeopardized within the matchmaking space as a result of this assault rifle buff. Now obviously I haven't got my hands on the game, so I can't necessarily say why. Uh, not necessarily say for sure that I think these things are going to happen. But there is a warning sign going in my head that the state of the game could be made less fun as a result of the Assault Rifle getting a buff. The two other reasons for doing so, for, for them being potential warning signs in my head, are um, the sprint speed of the game, you know, the movement speed being a lot higher. It's easier for, to get from A to B and to get in and out of situations, which could be a extremely valuable to an Assault Rifle player. Um, because, you know, you can rush any situation you feel like you can get out of. Um, easier to dip and dive, stuff like that. Easier to maneuver in general, and that is exactly what an assault rifle player needs as a benefit. Um, I feel like the assault rifle players could sometimes um, be, you know, the assault rifle players, although they'd have this advantage in Halo 3 of having a pretty powerful weapon with low amounts of auto aim, with, um, sorry, low amounts of recoil. Um, they had the problem of the fact that they would be walking up to a player and the player would spot them from miles away as they slowly walked up to them and then the battle rifle could spot them and be like, oh hey, I just need to get this four shot off before he reaches me. Whereas in this game, you know, it would be sprinting around a corner frantically trying to get from point A to point B and if an assault rifle starts seeing you, you could already be screwed. I don't want to feel like this, uh, like I'm running into traps almost because people could set up assault rifle traps where there's two players waiting at one specific point and then it's too hard to get out of that area and then the assault rifles do a very good job of chasing you. Um, that could be damaging. 
And the other point I would make is that the instant respawn times would also add to this frustration, you know. With assault rifle players being able to gain uh, map control fairly quickly, and if they are able to, um, you know, spawn in and out and rush at you constantly with the assault rifles, it could make it very hard to use the battle rifle within this play space. Um, so quite frankly, those are my opinions. Uh, you may or may not agree with me still. And that's totally fair, you know, feel free to make, you know, more arguments against me. I love arguments, I mean, quite frankly, like, Epos Vox's argument did make me think that that was a good thing. I wasn't necessarily expecting to come out of that video with someone making a strong argument against me, but they really did. Um, so if you still disagree with me, feel free to uh, disagree, it's just it's just how I think it will work within the Halo 4 game. And I, might, I may or may not necessarily be right, but it's just how I feel. I've been Modest Major, peace out, thank you for watching.